So as we end 2024, we thought it would be good to talk about some of the big themes going into 2025, a couple of categories that we know are top of mind for pretty much everybody, um, but also are somewhat open-ended in terms of uh, of where they go. So we're going to let Max start, start off with kind of his top of mind, let's say big theme uh, going into 2025. So Max, lay it on us. So there's two big ones. The first one's going to be foldables. I mean, you guys have seen Apple's now rumored to get into it in 26 with a giant iPad style device. And I think we're going to see a lot of... Uh, you know, do we see actually a lot of their competitors now build based on this news and try to beat them to market with a similar style device? I think from the actual experience too, with the Lenovo foldable and the HP getting into that more computer style, that was probably a better experience overall than you would see out of a, a tablet replacing your phone because it's just a giant laptop and people love them. The second point is, do we see Edge AI take off and is it actually going to be uh, on device? And my th thought is, we will see Edge AI features, sorry, AI features take off on the Edge, but not powered by Edge models yet. Mm. I think that's going to be the big point because you need the framework to run the models. And I think we're going to see that be developed in 2025. My topic, which piggybacks on Max's, which is where does this go with compute um, in the data center? And, and, and there's two things I think are really interesting about next year, right? We, we have argued for, you know, a couple of years now, and most of the analysis for compute in the cloud is around training workloads. And that's just everybody training their foundational models, training their enterprise data models, um, it's train, train, train. Their inference becomes part of this conversation, but the vast majority of compute is toward training. If you look at every CIO, CTO report that's come out over the past year, the, the broad consensus is that they plan to move to deployment of those models is, uh, is mid to end of 2025, which basically means the amount of compute that we'll start having for, inf for inference is going to go up drastically. And so there's this really interesting question which is what happens to broad compute as it moves from training to inference. All right, Carolina, your topic. I think it kind of brings together a lot what we talked about, which is AI, Edge, and I'm adding XR. And the reason why I'm adding XR is that um, you all saw, hopefully, that um, I demoed uh, the new Android XR, and Gemini plays a big role in what XR is gonna feel like going forward. You can see how that agentic AI always with you is extremely useful. In order for Gemini to function uh, well for me, they need, you know, it needs to see everything that I see um, and hear everything I hear. I think you know, consumers will have to see the value of that before they're gonna start trusting.